Audi. No, I'm over here. An Audi. So we're just uh, coming over the diversion dam in Kananara, or as we like to say locally, Kanas. And um, being a bridge, it's one of those mandatory things that we actually have to take photos and video of it. Now they call this a diversion bridge, and I have no idea why, <laughs> but it looks like this sort of gantry mechanism in front of us is on rails, so it moves uh, up and down the dam, and there's a sign there, it probably tells you all about it. Um, but I'm guessing that it actually can lift up sections of this bridge because each of these little sections are separate to the one next to it. It's kind of a, kind of a bit weird, that, that's what I'm assuming. But I'm thinking that in the next couple of days we'll probably stop, read the thing about the mechanism and what have you, and get back to you. Yeah. So I was absolutely right. Huh? It's a it's a gantry mechanism that lifts up each of these to allow for maintenance and for the water to go through. So during the uh, wet season, it's mostly open, letting all the water through, and then during the dry season, they close it so it actually forms a dam and allows the irrigation of all the surrounding area. How about that? Kalanara and uh, we've just come up to Miramar, a little sort of national park thing. They reckon it's like the mini bungles, but having done the bungles yesterday, this is not anywhere near the same category as the bungles, uh, but very pretty, sort of similar rock formations and what have you, and a couple of short walks in through. 
Um, it's about, what is it now, 35 degrees outside. So we were electing not to do the, uh, the long two hour and a, two and a half hour walk. Um, so we're gonna go to, uh, in, back into sort of Kanadara to the diversion dam crossing, then Ivanhoe crossing, which will be cool, and then some shopping. We're staying at a nice little hip camp, just about 12K out of Kanadara. Um, where it's really really nice and we just found out earlier today that we can use our generator so it's going to be air conditioning this afternoon Woo Ivanhoe Crossing, but uh, little did we know that it was actually blocked to vehicular access. As you can see, there's uh, basically no way my four-wheel drive is going to get over those blocks. But it was pretty cool to get there. We would have loved to have uh, driven over there. That's the sort of iconic thing that people do, uh, but not this time. Unfortunate. that we had on our list to uh, go and visit and um, we didn't get to actually stay there because the uh, bookings were all taken already but we visited the old homestead and we'd uh, arranged to actually get down there by bus took a nice bus trip down there and um, did the uh, like a half day almost a full day cruise which uh, culminated with a really really nice uh, dip in the I don't know, I can't remember how many mega billion litres the uh, place was. But it's a uh, man-made lake and it's uh, absolutely magnificent, really beautiful place. Lots of wildlife, as you can see, we saw some uh, nice little animals sitting here in the cliff face. We got nice and close to them. Really, really cool. We even went to uh, one of these little islands where we saw some of our little friends. Um, great big freshwater crocs. I think Melanie will tell me whether they were fresh water or salt water. I don't remember, but it was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. culminates with a swim so yeah we get to swim in Lake Argyle and uh, along with a bunch of the other passengers uh, it was really really cool a little bit uh, daunting given that they say that there's something like 30,000 uh, crocodiles in that lake but it was really cool they end up actually sending out some beers and champagne and some cheese platters as well so you can uh, really chill out nicely magnificent Good fish Good <laughs> I doubt it about to cross over the border we're still in Western Australia and in about a minute we're going to be in the Northern Territory so the signs are just up here thank you for visiting West Australia a great place and I cannot agree with that more it 
really is, I was literally just saying to Melanie how much I've enjoyed West Australia, the first time we've sort of really done it. Um, stepped foot on in West Australia in 1974 for about six hours in, in uh, Fremantle when the boat pulled in, when we immigrated from South Africa. But it's been a long time coming, 49 years, and um, now we're about going to cross over into Northern Territory and we are heading on the Victoria Highway, I think it is, and we're heading towards the Victoria River, past Timber Creek. Past Timber Creek because apparently it's a crap hole. Um, so, and with some luck, we might uh, catch up with Rita's sister, Chris, and her husband, Pete, at a place called the Victoria River Roadhouse. So it's probably about, what, two hours, about, I think, something like that. Two and a half. But then the other thing we just realised is we lose one and a half hours. Yeah. So we're, we're going to get there at 325 we're actually going to get there at two um so yeah just kind of that weird shit where you've got that um hour and a half difference and then of course a bit later on in the trip we'll lose that other half an hour um when we sort of get back in line with, with victoria and that so yeah anyway and that but, means it's lunchtime and apparently now it's lunchtime <laughs> well, we'll see how we go so yeah beautiful day what is the temperature now is about 28 degrees air conditioning's cranking um and uh yeah we'll punch out a couple hundred k's and we'll uh, make camp. So after uh, a lovely little time in Mataranka with the hot springs, we um, decided to keep going. We drove about uh, 600 k's through uh, Daly Waters and obviously stopped at the pub. Uh, we got through to um, the Barclay Homestead, which was cool. Obviously, we need to we needed to stop there because we've got a dog called Barclay. Uh, and then we had a fantastic, uh, nice free roadside camp, um, which was really, really pretty. Only about uh, 70 k's past uh, three ways. So we're on our way to Mount Isa. Um, obviously the plans changed a little bit due to the rains. Uh, we were supposed to be going down the Tanami down to the uh, West McDonald Ranges, but things change. Anyway, so on our way through, some really, really weird sights here. <laughs> but uh, having a magnificent time. This uh, place I think was called Camerwheel from memory.